強くなれ一体何なんだいつもいつも体の奥底から聞こえてくるようなこの声は Exposition though, since he'd know there's always a voice he can hear that comes from deep within himself, since there's always a voice he can hear that comes from deep within himself. <laughs> Not that you actually have your own cloth in there though, you ungrateful little badger you. Oh, very early saying someone's name instead of talking normally cliche, you sussy Japanese people, you! You got the body of a child and you got your ass out. Fuck off, that's my desire. Bruh, not being funny, what kind of a freak keeps that eye open while a fairy thing goes and kisses it? That's just plain old bizarre! You know, I get hooking him up with drugs to ensure he sticks around and doesn't run off. That's whatever. But would you really be beating on him, strangling him and stuff? You can't find anyone else to do that to than the only guy who is gonna heal your lopped off limbs and stuff when you're badly injured? No! Of course he isn't, you big brain! You had him stuck on drugs for ages and used to randomly kick the crap out of him for no reason whatsoever. Of course he's not of completely sound mind, is he? I know she's a massive douchebag in this from bits I've seen, but I ain't gonna lie, she still gets the anime of sin off right here, and I don't need to explain myself to anyone! Is he just straight up assuming that she's gonna want to hear that after all she says is his name alone? For the first and last time of the video. No. Why would you say it then? Gotta love how this bitch is constantly complaining about his smell and stuff and yet consistently feels the need to go herself to give him the drugs and then touch him a lot at the same time. Reaction occurs long after an attack cliche. Boy! Being able to speak extremely normally while a dude's big old hand is over your face. Plan B. Let's just kill each other. Feels like a really weird thing to sing during this episode and what's happening, but all the same your boy has a job to do and that metal heated up so quick. Like way too quick, you feel me? Also dude, let's put this out there. Rapping is a bad thing. Don't go rapping, you know what I mean? I haven't got to say it because even though it isn't monetized, I know YouTube is raising a single eyebrow and giving me a stern look. So let's just go with that. <laughs> Dude's literally managing to hold up her entire body with like four fingers on her hair. <laughs> Just how damn much is actually in that tiny little bottle? <laughs> When you shove someone down and immediately gain possession of their possessions, like his Elder Scrolls out here or something. Umai, nakanaka no mono da. Oishi desu. 
でも私は旅の途中でケアルガ様が Dude, try actually putting it in your food He gives him one to try out to test if it's legit, and then he drinks from an entirely different one. If your issue is that it may be poison or something nasty, enough so that you mistrust him and don't drink it right away yourself, then being happy to drink the other untouched and untested one seems dumb! Well, now 26 doses since you gave two of them away for free! In the first shot, her fellow padmates are very close by, but when he enters, they've disappeared from the shot. <laughs> Giving yourself away before you attack, cliche, like a real frost wolf numpty. Ah! <laughs> 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 She's terrible at giving herself away! Take a rest, second sin! Dore Dake Mate, you've made the analogy, and now you're just straight up making a huge mess for seemingly no reason. <sighs> I love anime. I really do. I devote my entire working life to it and have done for nearly five years as of writing this. But it always, always bugs me how there's a kid type character in a harem in pretty much every example I could possibly think of. I'd just love a harem one day, and I'm not gonna lie, I do like harem anime, so sue me, where they're all very clearly of age. I'd love that so much. Anyway, take a sin. <laughs> weird that everything was quiet and they were talking about how they clearly made it in time and then like they teleported out of thin bloody air suddenly all these girls are in chains with soldiers laughing and slapping them and shit. Why don't you actually see if she does wait before you praise her ability to wait for eight whole seconds? Very quick anime go run cliche. Yapari dameka. Icho kimini tote, onjin no hazananda kerona, oreva. Nan no kotokashira. Her arm? Not her life. She wasn't dying, she was missing an arm and unable to use her sword, but it wasn't fatal, you feel me? Oh, Sashibri des. Can say, could I have cried it? Hurry, Ojo. Where did he get the clothes from on such short notice, though? No, died six days ago. Don't tell anyone, no. This world is the only one. No one has any love. I am the most important. And yet, you did what you did, and then just left her there. And the worst part is that you had so much time to go around and fix that situation before it came to this point, but you just didn't for some reason. Yeah, but clearly she doesn't know that, and that's the point. Just like she thought Flair was actually a lovely girl, when clearly she isn't. What, well, that would be a weird assumption to make? I mean, yeah, she said that's what happened, but why would he think that she'd mention doing that? Strangely CGI soldiers on characters you're not even moving around the scene. <laughs> To make it even more weird, the stationary CGI soldiers don't have eyes, but in the very next scene, when they animate them attacking, they give them eyes. Very strange choices. Oddly enough, the soldiers he killed on the two prior spots he's come from now disappear from this shot. <laughs> Giving yourself away before you attack cliche! 
なかなか面白い見せ物だったよ邪悪に落ちた勇者めだが残念だったな Even though he wasn't close to any of the soldiers who just straight up exploded he's now fully 100% covered in their blood and yet all of the other soldiers many of whom were right next to their comrades when they blew up are completely clean Now CGI upping the villagers, you just drew them in every prior scene and the one right after this! I love it when one woman can sing with the voice of multiple people! You know what? The only thing I am worried about is getting a boner. Bro, what sort of a madman puts out a fairly large fire by putting their foot in the middle of it and then not visibly and or audibly moving it around in any way? What you've gone and achieved is setting your leg on fire, mate! He said at the end of the last episode that the only reason why they're called demons or devils or whatever it is is because they can control monsters and yet nothing is mentioned about them physically resembling demons. Like surely that's part of it. Bit weird that they're having this conversation over such a long period of time, like those must be incredibly awkward silences as they travel between locations before again starting the next phase of the same conversation. Tell your face that then. I mean, he did literally just say that it was a joke. まずいも何も今の魔王様が根田吉に拾って命令を出している種族だべ。根田吉。なあ。つまり計画的な攻撃ってことだ。余計な押せは。They are literally also attacking him at the same time. うん。ああ。ただの日課だ。気にするな。for the only time of this video, still find it very irritating how youngish they made the wolf girl. Just like I said in the first half, it just does tick me off how you can never have a harem without a kid type of character in it. Enough said. Nice. So now no one can toot their own horn if they're an alright person. Now I better keep it to myself than say how I'm not evil because saying I'm not evil makes me evil. Stupid f***ing girl. He already said that at the end of the last episode. <laughs> Being mean to animals is always a sin. She says like they weren't sexing it up right in front of her at the end of the last episode. I've been waiting this whole time to find out why the demon girl is acting like she's crapped her pants at the table, and I still can't figure it out as the scene ends. Like maybe it's food related, but she has been eating the entire time, so what's the deal? <laughs> the place is legit empty. Asking someone if they're awake when they're awake brought to you by a very simple version of the joke since I'm extremely tired having edited Black Clover Part 8 all last night, Japan. <laughs> this girl's acting like if you haven't got the use of your legs you can't physically drag yourself along. Like he stopped the use of her legs. He didn't bloody turn them into concrete. <laughs> Jiorarokuni Misterata Karakoso, Mazoktono Kyozon or Erabi, 
Exposition though, since everyone in that room was already aware of that, having not only been at the table where it was discussed at length during their arrival in the town, and then it's been a heavy theme reinforced in pretty much every episode since. <laughs> There's giving yourself away before you attack, and then there's doing it a half mile away with a megaphone and running at your target, screaming and swinging your sword around like a massive moron! Yeah, not to mention that it's also so much worse than that because there's no logic to it. She's just plain old douche and saying stuff. You haven't got to kind of delve into her logic. That's not true justice because of blah blah blah. No, she's just a f***ing idiot murdering everyone, mate. Why does he always do this? He makes a mate and then just watches everyone get killed and then turns up late after being more than fully aware of the situation and is like, oh no, how could this happen? Mate, you knew it was happening, you just did nothing again. <laughs> like before with the villagers and your kind of mum. Okay, I'm gonna give him this one back. It seems like maybe he's just using it to get revenge because he loves it so much. So he gets close to him, lets him die, and then is like, yay, revenge o'clock or something. <laughs> People are just getting murdered in front of him and randomly none of the soldiers fancy also swiping at him but gosh doesn't it look good in a theatrical sense though? Also though it just occurred to me that it's strange that it's now been like 20 or 30 years since they said the kingdom walked away from this city and yet they never formed any kind of defence. No army, human or demon, no guards or absolutely anything of the sort. <laughs> To be clear, you're soldiers, you can keep your weapons, you don't all have to drop them. What do you mean, what does she mean? You just said yourself that wasn't her, what is going on? I know you're not supposed to be overly thinking things through during battles in Redo of Healer, but all the same, let's just do that for a moment and ponder where the fuck he's managing to keep 8,200 knives on this person! <laughs> Reaction occurs long after an attack cliche! <laughs> For, for some reason. Can't even be bothered to slightly explain it. <laughs> Extremely opportunistic wind cliche right there. Would have been wasted if the weather just did its thing while he was talking to the grave. Best wait till he does his pose. <laughs> Follower, Lifty, Cory Bush, Inakami and Water, Manuel Morales, Marquez, Nick Window, Warkeeper, The Other Commander, Adelisk, Birth Without a Word, Brendan Creer, Christopher Willis, Emmanuel Gonzalez, Gaten 2000, Jessica Starks, Kepman, Comfrey, Kylie W, Magnus, Nathan Burr, Satai Kuyori, Sean, Sebastian Ramirez, Wigan Faye, Ali50, Baked Patats, 3827, Dark Lord Blaze Soul, Dub Defender Matt Miller, Guru Guru, Israel Caldera, Yul Edvinson, Jonas Stahl, Jaffa6263, Kieran Robinson, Kelnock, Kevin Nelter, Gonito, Lexus, Luis Cruz, Matthew Blancet, Nicholas C, 1928, Oliver Smiley Reacts, Peter Milligan, Saint 25, Sentimento, Storm 970, The Elemental. Thank you.